Identity defines who and what an individual is. Individual identity is made from characteristics such as determination, motivation, sense of right and wrong, conflicts. The list is endless. In the play, A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams, personal characteristics and conflicts constantly define each character's specific identity. It is clear when an individual is motivated by past insecurities, he or she often chooses to create illusions to protect themselves in order to avoid the judgment of society and the truth of their own identity. Blanche's journey to New Orleans is symbolic of many things. The first train she gets on is called desires. In general terms, this represents her desire to be consumed in love and her sexual desires that is constantly, she's constantly trying to seek. The second train in her journey is called cemeteries. Throughout Blanche's life, she has lost many loved ones, including her late husband, Alan, as well as many family members. This is a big part of Blanche's past and has an even larger hold on her present and future. She is constantly swimming in a pool of these emotions and thoughts. The struggle Blanche acquires is staying afloat. The last streetcar in Blanche's journey is Elysian Fields. An exact definition of Elysian is blissful, heavenly, or a final resting place for souls. This is significant for Blanche's desire to move on from her past life of loss. Blanche enters Elysian Fields in hopes of moving on and starting fresh. While in Elysian Fields, she hopes to find a husband that is blind to the true Blanche and is kept in the dark. Throughout the play, it becomes clear that Blanche is a character motivated by her insecurities. She suffers from the fear of moving on, which leads to her illusion that she has built to protect herself from any judgment. On Blanche's birthday, she asks Stella to save the candles for the baby's birthday. Blanche has suffered a lot with darkness. She keeps herself in the dark in order to hide from reality and give everyone a false perception of herself. She tells Stella that she hopes the candles are going to glow in the baby's life and that his eyes are going to glow like candles. Blanche drops in her illusion for a brief moment to tell her sister that she honestly hopes the baby's life is full of blinding light and never sees darkness that consumes her. In this scene of the play, it seems as though Blanche has honestly reached Elysian Fields and her final resting place. This shows the reader that Blanche is able to show compassion towards others as well as show potential to move on. The streetcar named Desire is built around the theme of illusion. Blanche is so terrified that her true identity will cause others to judge her. Throughout the play, Blanche has a suitor named Mitch. The couple goes on many dates during the evening. One evening, Mitch gets upset that he's never seen Blanche during the day. When he asks Blanche to turn on the light, she gets all fidgety and tries to change the subject. The end result of this little spat is that Mitch no longer finds Blanche clean enough to bring in the house with his mother. Immediately alone, Blanche goes into shock. She no longer has someone to settle down with, and that her illusion will start to fold. In order to pretend as though she doesn't need Mitch, she hangs around the apartment with all of her fancy clothes and costumes on while drinking a rum and coke. When Stanley arrives home, she immediately says, I've received a telegram from an old admirer of mine. She makes this up to force the illusion that she has moved on from Mitch and no longer needs his company. Sexual desires can either destroy one's life or make it all the better. Blanche is clearly motivated by her sexual desires to commit to actions that destroy her reputation. An example of her motivation through sexual desires is present in scene 5 when she begins to get ready to go out with Mitch, she kisses the young male boy who is delivering the evening star. The young boy delivering the evening star represented all youth and brightness she desired to have brought back from her past in Belle Reve. Blanche states that she needs to keep her hands off children, which draws the conclusion that she has become sexually involved with one of her suits. She had created this illusion to hide this truth in order to protect her Southern Belle identity, which was one of high stature and class. Blanche did not only prey on students, nor did she only prey on men of youth. She also preyed on strangers, as she would take them to the Tranchula Arms Hotel to feed her never-ending sexual desires. In scene 9, Blanche stated that she had gone to the Tranchula Arms Hotel, opposed to the Flamingo, which is where she would bring her victims to fill her, in a way, empty heart.
Earlier in scene 6, Blanche and Mitch had just returned from their date and they are, in a way, bored. They begin to have a conversation about how the date went, and this is where Blanche states that she believes women must entertain the men as she consider considers it to be the law of nature. Her absolute belief in this law defines Blanche as an individual who must constantly please a man, which also pleases her desire for sexual contact. This is the first clear indication the characters receive of Blanche's individual truth, which lead to the conclusion she is a dirty past and present. Blanche is extremely self-conscious of how old she is. This has been shown from her past back at Belle Reve, where she grew up. It was proper to have a man and children by mid-twenties. The estimation is that Blanche is around 30 years old, which is a decade past the deadline. She is so scared that anyone may actually figure out how old she is, that she actually resorts to never letting anyone see her in the light. Blanche protects her identity by constantly staying in the dark and never looking improper to anyone. The darkness is something that Blanche believes protects her from what she is denying throughout this whole play, and that is that she is growing old, has no job, no money, and no family other than Stella. In a way, she has lost everything important in her life. Blanche uses the light of a dim lamp to show others what she wants them to see. A proper, well-put-together young lady who has not come to Elysian Fields to see her sister for help, but just a visit to make sure that she is doing okay in her lower-class life. Blanche said multiple times throughout the play to not turn the light on because she knew once the light was turned on, her true identity would be shown, and she feared that no one would ever like her for it. Even after dating Mitch for a month, he had never actually seen her in full daylight. When around everyone, especially Mitch, Blanche put up an illusion of a young woman still in her prime to marry and fall in love. Another representation of light and darkness in the play is through the candles that show Blanche once had love and now had lost love. Blanche believes that love is like a blinding light. She refers to it even when she's talking to Mitch. It was like you suddenly turned a blinding light on something that had always been half in shadow. Page 95. Blanche reoccurrently goes back to her past, to when she was never afraid of the light, because she knew that when she was in the light with her past love, she had nothing to worry about because someone did love her, and she was in the prime time of her life. Blanche is now frightful of the light, as it is the reality that she's really just not willing to face. She puts up an illusion to everyone so she can appear to be confident in her own skin, but at the same time, she wants to have the illusion and the appearance of a young woman. Another symbol that can be represented by the light and love is the light that is Blanche's past. Beautiful, bright, and perfect with love all around her, created through family and friends and her husband. The dark is her life now. She has lost everyone except Stella. She lives in the dark to be protected from the life without love that she is now deprived of. It's just a fake smile she puts on to impress people. Blanche finds the light and darkness constantly clashing in her life. Blanche struggles with balancing both sides. She again has found herself in a constant battle of wanting to keep her illusions real by giving a fake perception to everyone else that she now has her life put together just how she wants it. This is clearly expressed when Blanche admits, I don't want realism, I want magic. Blanche knows the reality, but on the surface she puts up an illusion to herself and others. Blanche's insecurities are expressed by the way she presents herself to others, overcompensating for the pieces of herself that she dislikes the very most.